I'm going around run, run the town Up in my way, up in my shit Niggas be making the sound Niggas don't wish where I'm from Round till we making it out, ayy Round till we making it out, ayy Look, go around run the town What's up, everybody, and welcome to the 26th episode of the Juice Podcast. Hoser with you and always with me, Frank. Juma. Hey. My bad. I thought I always went next. That's like, for the last, like three episodes. Nah, anyways, though, that's cool. Bro. Go ahead, Frank. Get your shine, get your shine. My get bad, shine. man. Yeah, I like I cut you off on purpose, bro. bro. I want to see you shine, bro. Prosper. I can, like, I'm I'm I sorry, did it all. Sorry, bro. Go ahead. Hey, bro. I'm, sorry. I'm not trying to hold you up. He only went after me, like, once. He started, like, the three episodes. I know. I cut you off. Nah, you're good, retake, retake, retake. Nah, right. <laughs> nah, 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 we're out here. We're with them. <laughs> and today we got a dope boy, Tony. What's up, Tony? What's up? What's up? What's cracking? Special doing, guest, bro. Chilling, bro. Yeah, bro. Sure. Oh, yeah, appreciate y'all for having me. Nah, thank Another you for coming on. Thank you, episode. Yeah, bro. Thank you. Some fans, bro. For real. Appreciate that. Thank you for Hell coming yeah. on. Hard ass music. Appreciate love that. Love the videos on YouTube. Got love what you got out, bro. If y'all don't know who he is, come on, y'all. Y'all ain't really tapped this in with us. Come on, G. The boy Tony's one of the most popping out here, dog. He's here to put OC on In the, the map, OC, y'all. No real doubt. shit, dog. That's we see dog. the you speak. Honestly, bro, we see the movement, bro. We're here for it. Go ahead, yeah. finish my back. No, no, no. I'm yeah. saying now y'all are saying exactly what I wanted to say, bro. Yeah, dog. That's what I say. Y'all don't let me speak because y'all are saying exactly what I want to say. <laughs> God damn, like. Interrupt me. Feel free. No, no, no. You're good. <laughs> this is gonna be an ongoing thing. The whole pod. <laughs> the whole fucking pod. Nah, nah, it's not, <laughs> Let's get to your music, bro. <laughs> Fuck what these guys got going on. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, <all right>. man. <laughs> so, you haven't anything re- recent put out? Uh, yeah, I actually dropped a song. I want to say last month. Right. Um, that was real recent. Yeah, oh, yeah, I dropped a song last month. It's kind of like a boom bap hip hop feel, and um, I'm trying to get a video done to that too, so okay. to put out. Um, I've been a little. Like hesitant on the on the YouTube right now. Okay. Like I haven't really dropped nothing, but I'm stacking up my singles and I'm getting ready to shoot. So when I do drop something, like I just want to hit them with some like back to back shit. Right. You know, I feel if you. I drop something one month, the next I'll probably be ready for like five six months, pretty much. Okay. Yeah. How recently you been trying to drop them? Like every three months, every five. Um. Probably do it monthly, honestly. Monthly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Just so, you know, you just keep people. You know, yeah, uh, entertain. In. Yeah, to definitely. Make them, make them want to know what's next. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm kind of staying to like the similar style right. of music. You know, I don't want to hit people with too much different shit. I feel you. And, and uh, like, you're saying that's like the boom bap you said you, you've been doing. That's what I just dropped. Okay. But right now I'm I'm working on like it's like a it's like a West Coast feel. Okay. But it's not like the ratchet shit. Mm-hmm. It's like more like slower, <laughs> like you know, Nipsey. You, yeah, kind of, yeah. If, if you, you, Kinda Nipsey like, Dom, you know, okay, okay, you can like you can, you can still get off on it. Definitely, right, just, right. you know, spit some bars. I don't know what you're feeling, what you're thinking. Mm-hmm. So that's the type of film I'm going with right now. Um, I'm working with. I don't know if you guys heard of Wizzo. No, put, put, a, put, put me on or put us he, on. He uh, right? he's from the city. He's from Santana. Okay, he uh, he was on Nipsey's last album on Victory Lap. Salute. He was. He has producing credits on there and everything. All right, for sure. Yeah. Wizzo, you said his name is yeah? Yeah, Wizzo. All right. Wizzo. So I'm working with him and my boy Frankie, and so that's who I'm putting the singles out with right now. All like, right, That's what for we're, sure. we're putting that together. And, you know, obviously he worked with Nip, so he come with that, like, he already got that kind of feel, that style mm-hmm. of what I'm kind of looking for. Definitely. Right. So, like, perfect. Here he sees yeah. your vision and how to even approach, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah no yeah, doubt. Yeah. Yeah, so everything like all the catalog right now is crazy, bro. I feel you. Catalog is crazy, so I'm excited to put that out. And it's Definitely. it's different, you know. I haven't really. I think I got like one song that I've put out, you know, similar to that to that style. Right, right. I got it. It's actually my most recent YouTube video. Okay. Um, it's called Trophy. That's it's like a Sweet West Coast. On the way here, bro. That's hard. That shit when you pick me up. That's hard. I was like, bro, this shit. I was like, you need to listen to this for. He's like, oh yeah. <laughs> And yeah, I was yeah, just like, we'll put it on. <laughs> yeah, what's the concept of the song, G? Um, so trophy is like it's me talking about like the come up. Okay. You know, um, and I I speak in it in a way it's like where it's like I haven't fully, you know, not even close to where I wanna be. Yeah. But I'm starting to recognize that like I'm on the right path, pretty much. I'm starting to recognize cause I'm on the right path because, you know, I see my goals. Are being that I'm setting, I'm, I'm achieving them, and I just see all the negativity that's coming with the bullshit. So, damn, I put that on the song. 
Damn, bro. Yeah. That's kind of heavy. Yeah. It kind of seems like there was a lot of trials and tribulations prior to for you to even get to that point. No doubt. To even make this song trophy. Yeah. Hella, dog. Hell yeah. How's the whole process just even fucking... You're saying negativity. Like, well, like, like uh, what do you mean by that a little bit? Well, you know, um, when you're doing... It's not even just music, bro. Like, when you're doing anything mm. and you're doing it really good and you're getting good results, like, just people are just not going to like it for whatever reason, you yeah. know? And it's not even just going to be random people. It's going to be people that know you. Word. People who might tell you they love you, but, you Word. know, it's... You just experienced it yeah. firsthand, yeah. Yeah, you just you start to, you know, um, I say it in, fuck, I forget what song it is, but, oh, I actually just did a freestyle video today. It's a verse for the homie. And I say it in the song where it's like, you pretty much, you expect certain people to give you like the most amount of love. Mm -hmm. And in reality, it's not even like that, right. you know? Like hating on like the yeah. Fucking opposite side of the spectrum and shit. Yeah. And in the song Trophy, I mentioned something like, uh, like I'm scoring points and you can't even clap for me. You get me? Like, yeah. I'm not, Damn. like, you just, I'm not expecting you to, like, fucking be full force, you know, but show some type of. Like, oh, damn, I was giving my credit. Yeah. Like, give me damn. some type of credit, show some type of love. Right. You know, and I've experienced shit like that. And then obviously I've experienced it, um, with people that I don't know. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I've gotten a death threat over this shit. You know, it's just a lot of shit. Wow. And it's dog. crazy, bro. It's crazy because when you want to do this, bro, it's like you got to have tough skin. Yeah. You can't you can't just think you're going to get all the good shit out of it. Mm -hmm. You know, like you got to understand that you, there's going to be a lot of negative shit that's going to come, you know, and try to knock you. And it's just how you, it's up to you how you take it. So, right, right. Yeah. Damn, you dog. could either be fucking scared or you could just, you know, put on your fucking... Work exactly. to get to work, you know what I mean? But and it's like in anything, bro. Yeah. That's why I was like, it's not just music. Even like if you like in a corporation and yeah. you're trying to become like a bigger in a bigger position. There's no, gonna definitely, be, there's gonna bro. be people trying to like as soon as you about to take that next step up the ladder, motherfuckers gonna try and pull that pull you down. Yeah, yeah. Fucking snakes, just cause like... they're not getting that opportunity. Exactly. You know? And that's just how it's the same thing in everything. But I feel like when it comes to like like uh Industries like this, right. where the where the where the reward or the prize is a lot heavier than other things, you know, like they tend to hate more. Yeah, or they tend yeah, to do they're willing to do a lot, like more, like a lot more to shit. yeah. Yeah, this was to talks about this music shit. Like now that we deal a lot with a lot of different artists, a lot of different age group, like you're honestly one of the the youngest person we got on the pod right now, and all all that jealousy, the oldest <laughs> fools, like not getting as much light as you are right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're popping, bro. Like you're you're pretty popping. You're popping on YouTube. You're popping on Spotify. Like we see you working. We see you, you know, yeah, where you're performing that. at and shit, you know. And it, but it's like we got these motherfuckers, you know, older than fuck, still trying to do what they do and just hating just because <laughs> they ain't going nowhere, you know. Yeah. So it, it fucking it's fucking drags, bro. Because you be doing a lot of work, dog. Yeah, no doubt. See that shit. Yeah, and I I try to tap in with everybody, you know. I don't care who, like obviously I gotta fuck with you. you right. Know? I don't. I don't like to just make music with just... Yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. Hop on Instagram yeah. and be like, oh, you, yeah. Yeah, no, nah, I, I don't <laughs> like to do that. Or even if somebody does hit me up, um, like, I like to sit there and just kind of check them out. Yeah, it got to be some type you know? of valid. Money. Yeah, I like to just check them out. You know, at least I like for their sound to be cool. Right. And right. then I'll fuck with you. You know, I don't, I don't discriminate. I don't... You hear that? If your bars are hot, you can hit them up. If not... <laughs> Save yeah, that text ten, for later. Ten, bro. Yeah, ten. Level, bro. Yeah, just delete <laughs> the message before you hit send, fam. Don't even... <laughs> if you have Make to sure think you twice, the paragraph at least twice. <laughs> just, just delete. Yeah. Just delete. It. Hey, yo, dumb boy Tony, I saw your video when he's. <laughs> 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 hey, they're all listening right now. Like, they're gonna be like, oh, yeah. fuck, on, like, uh, like, like, you know what? Let me just but, get off his. Let me not. Thought I had a chance. Let me go listen to my music right now. Nah, I ain't even like that. You know, like I'm not. I don't. I don't like to just be like, just fucking automatically just boom, like put a stop to something. Right, mm -hmm. right. You know, right. I get I get messages all the time about working. And, you know, like I said, I just like to, as long as I feel like I can fuck with your sound or not even just your sound, your message. Right, mm -hmm. right. You know, what do you stand for? What are you pushing? You know, if you're pushing some bullshit, I don't really fuck with that. So then I just won't do it. I won't even acknowledge it. I feel but, you, bro. Yeah. Even though you mentioned that, bro, like the fact that I asked about the negativity specifically is because. In your music, bro, you stand for like. <clears throat> to me, it's like 
you know, righteous shit, bro. You stand for your yeah. brown pride. You try to stand for your yeah. city, where you're from. No doubt. So the fact that it even breeds negativity through somebody that is standing for righteous stuff, you know? Yeah. That's why I asked from that, like, you know, like that perspective is because, like, damn, what is this guy? Like, yeah, for real. Like, what is there to hate on? <laughs> yeah, bro, Just like, from the outside yeah. looking in, like, yeah. you got that song, you uh, feel me? Like, Cultura. Yeah. That shit is a banger, bro. You know? Oh, what yeah. I mean? That's, that's probably like, my biggest song uh, yet so far, Cultura, you know? But, you know, to touch on that, it's it is crazy and mm-hmm. it, it's 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 weird to me because I do push that a lot. Mm-hmm. I push I try to push as much positivity as I can, you know. And then anytime I speak on you know, um, I guess negative shit that happens, right? Like it's more shining light on it rather than glorifying it, mm-hmm. you know. Like I'm just speaking on it. Yeah, this shit I have seen and gone through, but more so on like certain shit that happened. With like negativity and like certain threats, it I I don't really want to speak on it too much, but it's more like just people that knew like I guess my family, my background, mm. you know. So it's and somehow, yeah, yeah, somehow, yeah, somehow, some way, yeah. it's just I feel like now it's like oh I, like I'm a trophy, right. like oh fuck, like he's doing his thing, and then I gonna like fire callback. Yeah, that's a fire yeah. callback. That's, <laughs> that's fire, G. Yeah, you media trick. <laughs> and he's got you know, that's fine. Nah. So yeah, that's you, that's what that's what that is. And I'm just like, okay, whatever. You know, I still do my thing no matter what. Mm-hmm. Right. You right. know, nothing's gonna stop me. I'm trying to I'm trying to get somewhere and I'm just gonna keep doing my thing. Fuck with that, dog. Hey, yeah. Hey, what was a, the my, my, go, I'm so sorry, Frank. Right, go ahead. I'm so sorry. Now if I can um quick question though, where have you performed at though? So for like the crowd that like the audience that doesn't know. Um my first performance was at Proof Bar in downtown Santana. Okay, that was my there first performance. Oh, cool shit! Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've done, <laughs> I've done that. I, d- I think I had done a next round bar in downtown. Okay. Um, I did a lot of La Santa in downtown. Yeah, Santana. bro. That's why I seen you, dog. I seen you at the Sick Jackson. Oh, the Sick. Jack, Jack, oh, that one was cracking, bro. Oh my god, that was one of my, that was one of my favorite shows, up, bro. And I was like, damn, what the fuck is this? Yeah. <laughs> it was me and Olivia. We we're like, what the fuck? Olivia was like, damn, this was hard. I was like, yeah, hell yeah. And then everybody after that, I was like, bro, this should not have gone on. This should have <laughs> let this one not go first, bro. Uh, <laughs> set like, a standard on him up. Yeah, they right. did just with the drop the crowd off, moving, bro. For like yeah. a, as an opener, everybody was like, oh shit, like what? Yeah, brought the crowd in. And then the two fools out there, where everybody, he was like, they're trying to get the crowd involved and shit. And Honestly, like, and I could bro. even imagine a sick jacking crowd, like, bro, oh, that, you I feel was me? so hyped for that, yeah, bro. Yeah, Doc, like, I had done shows before. Shit, right? yeah. I had done shows before with like certain artists, and it's cool, you mm-hmm. know, like the crowd engages this and that. But so the minute I heard sick jacking, I was like, what? Damn. I was like, that's. I feel like you know that's the demographic that my music reaches the most. Definitely. So I was like, shit, like this is big, this is huge. And no, sure bro, enough, bro, I made sure to capitalize off of it. And yeah, it was a yeah. great night in terms of, like, interactions and shit. Boosted the socials. You know, I, I don't really... I can't say I don't care for it. Because mm-hmm. you have to when you're trying to do this shit. Definitely. But it, it did that. So it's like, man, like, it brought fans. So mm-hmm. it was yeah, cool, bro. It was, it was definitely cool. That's probably one of my favorite shows so far that I've ever done, bro. Bro, bro sure. who was What's that? Mosh Pit, dog? It was... Two of us oh, yeah. crazy. Was crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Bro, that shit was crazy. I was in the middle just pushing. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro, you're probably on the outside. <laughs> no, bro. No, 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 no. Chill, 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 bro. Because they got two people yeah, watching. We got stuck in the middle, bro. And they were just hitting us from both sides. Yeah, yeah. And I was just like, dang. Where was that yeah. venue you said? That video? Or uh, the venue? Uh, no, that venue? Oh, the venue? Yeah, the venue. Oh, venue? Uh, in downtown Santana. Okay. Like 4th Street, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah sure. 4th. Yeah, sure, bro. Yeah, I need to get popular. more familiar with like all the spots in San Ana, bro. Like, it's on. I, it's need on, to I get believe familiar. it's on third. I'm over here, only knowing of the Yost. Yeah. yeah, that ain't even like the spot people be at. Even <laughs> the only reason mm-hmm. I even know of the Yost was also was. I think Sick Jack was there, not long ago with Funk Freaks. Where at La Santa? Uh, at La Santa. Oh, okay. Damn. Yeah, I'm spinning sure. records, bro. There's oh. like uh, I wanted it's to like go, active with shows, bro. Like like kind of. Yeah, they kind of to doing... get like even a name like Sick Jack and they get like other big oh, artists. Yeah. And shit. Oh, yeah. Even the, the promoter, the promoter's been promoting for a while. What's yeah. his name, man? Uh, no, homie Droops. True. Uh, Droops. Homie with the backpack. Yeah, shout out to homie Droops. I flew right. through. I was always looking uh, out. He he threw the concert. Me and this one went. Our first one, a Wu Tang one. 
Damn, yeah, he did that one? Yeah, remember the full of Bro, that was a long ass time, bro. Bro, that was a long ass time ago. We had Sage One came out, right? That was at least like 10, 11 years ago. So, fool was fucked up in the crowd. He was like, oh, boo, boo. This fool threw the mic at him, remember? Oh, I thought he threw the fucking face. Didn't he throw the bottle? No, it was the mic. I thought it was the bottle. It was the mic. Oh, that's right, yeah, because you heard the impact. Yeah, you heard the. That's the homie. Yeah, that fool came out with his backpack, son. He was like, hey, we can't be doing that. Yeah, yeah, turn the whole shit down. Nah, shout out to you. Nah, fuck that. That fool was booing. That fool was booing. Yeah, I'm saying for trying to still hold it down and shit. Like, shut up, like, yo. Talking about keep this shit calm and shit. Yeah, because with my cousins and shit, like Amanda and Ashley, like, yeah. you know, so we were like, kind of like, we we're all younger than them and shit. We we're like, oh, and they were like, oh, fuck, like, we kind of forgetting that we're with like women and shit. Like, no, yeah. like, that shit was a good ass fucking time. Bro. Damn, dog. But yeah, that fool's been throwing shows for a long time. That yeah. Shout out shit. the house, Droops. Legit. Yeah, he, he always looking out, man. He's always like, you know, letting me know about shows and shit. So, it goes to him. Legit, Legit bro. bro. Yeah, we didn't even talk about the other two venues that uh, we were guessing for. Like, yeah, that's, that's what I wanted. I know, I know, I know. We're trying to lead up to the, the big joints, bro. Let the people, know, joints, bro. Like, let the people yeah. know about them venues that you did as well. Um, I've seen that thing. Mm-hmm. I think I've done that venue the most, so for sure. That's okay. okay. Yeah, I did like Sugar Free. Uh, I did sure. DJ Quick there one time. The Sick Jack and one. The other ones I can't really remember on top of my head, but. You be nervous, bro? Hell no. No, oh, not, yeah. not, even my, not even my first show. Bro, I like the fucking Damn. Year, bro. Not even just my first even show. being around oh, these nervous, names, you know, like a motherfucker. or fucking yeah. even approaching these shows. Like, yeah. Let's nah, say, how is it compared to recording music, and then and then when you're doing live shows, like, which do you prefer more, or like? Damn, honestly, I think I prefer to do shows. Oh sure, like yeah, for real. Yeah, it's it's the adrenaline, bro. Word, you know, it's like. It's crazy. Like, you don't get that really anywhere else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Unless, like, you out just doing some stupid shit. Yeah. You're fucking, nah, you know, hitting uh, licks. Yeah, yeah, playing sports, doing something. One of those type of adrenaline rushes. Yeah. 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 It's just a crazy adrenaline rush. And it's like, like, I truly feel like even, like, just the energy when the crowd gives good energy, like, you just feed off that shit. And you just, like, you just want to keep going. You want, you're moving. So, yeah, I think shows, to be honest, to me is, like, my favorite thing. When right, it comes right, to the right. music, like, that's my favorite thing. And that's why I feel like I've never felt nervous. Mm-hmm. Like, even my first show, like, I was just kind of telling myself, like, like, bro, if you want to do this, you can't be getting nervous, you know? Like, this is what you want to do. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's what, how, yeah. What, how old were you after you had your first performance? I was 19. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Where was it at? You remember? Yeah, yeah. Proof, proof Bar proof? in downtown Santana. Damn. Yeah, it was a true school Thursday. Thanks. Shout out to homie DJ No One. He's putting those you're together. Not even old enough to drink, but you're performing at the bar. Yeah. Like, yeah so yeah, I would have to perform and like boom, get out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, bro. Nah. That's, so they just let you in and then like got kicked you right the fuck out. Yeah. Like, pretty much. And then um, so I, I had more shows there. I was still a minor. Mm-hmm. I did. I think I was rocking shows there up until I was. I think my last one was I was 21 already. My last one there. But um. The owner started realizing, like, I, I was getting people to come to yeah. the shows, and like they were selling brews. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, the nice I got my people packed. kicking it. It's like yeah. you're bringing you shit, bro. Yeah, like yeah. I was bringing a good amount of heads. You know, at least Definitely, 10, 15 bro. heads. That's yeah, you know, that's yeah. 10, 15, bro, 15, 10, 15 heads kicking it for an hour. That's sales. <laughs> yeah. And shit, you know what I mean? yeah. So then he for would real? just kind of let me, you know. I would have made post up by the DJ. Yeah, yeah. Or shit like that. But or they would just, you know, keep an eye on me, mark yeah. my hand, or whatever the fuck. But say, yeah, they, they were a little bit more lenient. They were cooler. Yeah. yeah. And, and I bet it's only because you're a fire. Imagine you're trying to be like, nah, nah, get out there. No, <laughs> yeah. nah, that'd have been like, come in with a performance only. Don't even come in for a mic <laughs> check. <laughs> Nothing, bro. We'll do that. <laughs> After you're set, dog, nah, you got to like. <laughs> uh, hey, don't come in. Just come in ready. Bro. Uh, yeah. Come in ready. I was 40 bucks for my time. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Damn, bro. Damn, so. Did you just recently perform as well? Yeah. For uh, with the Jizza show, right? The Jizza show at the Garden Amp. That was you my first time. Names. You don't be nervous. Damn. That was my no, first boy, you time about doing this, that. Man. Even on like talk bigger shit, venues, dog. bro, you don't get nervous? Like, yeah, nah, talk bro. your shit, dog. If anything, oh, I get anxious just to get up. Mm-hmm. Really? Okay. Like, I'm like, fuck, like, I want to go up there already. So yeah, would yeah. you rather prefer, like, opening, like, then in that sense? Like, what or do you, you feel like, like, okay, because you know how you're like, you, like, if you're like, the op- like, I don't know. Like you're trying to like open. Like, would you be like rather like opening for people, or would you rather be like towards like the back end of the performance? Like, 
I'd definitely be towards the back end. Yeah. Yeah. And and it depends. Obviously, you know, when them like with these other bigger artists, like I know right. I'm not gonna, you know, get that. Right. But um if I can like somehow, some way from the openers be like towards the back and like closest to the main the main person, definitely okay, that. Okay. Yeah. Definitely that. Just cause I I'd, I'd rather wait for the venue to get packed. Have right, all these people, right, right, like have like, yeah, because then that's that's already more pe- out of. I'm not saying all these people are gonna fuck with me or follow me, but out of, there's, now there's more people that have a You're chance, have to a hear higher me, chance, yeah, and there's gonna be more people that might do it, okay, yeah, yeah, for and real. I think it has a lot to do with how I feel confident about my, myself and my music, hey, no, that's dope, you know? bro. and especially like I feel like in the music industry, bro, you need to have confidence, like. oh, yeah, for sure, and like I like to, you know, think that my music's really dope. So no, I have is, I have confidence <laughs> yeah. in the fact that if a lot of people get to hear it, like most of y'all are gonna fuck with this yeah. shit for sure. Definitely, dog. Yeah. Hella, bro. Yeah, but that was a dope one, bro. The Garden app, that one was that one was cool. How packed was it? It was. I think it was sold out. Oh shit! Yeah, because I want to say, um. You say Garden App like it's nothing. Yeah, that's crazy. Hell <laughs> yeah, Garden App is not regular. Nah, that's crazy. <laughs> nah, it's just Garden Salutes, bro. Like, yeah, it was just sold out. Salutes, <laughs> it was just sold out? <laughs> yeah, Because yeah, I'm pretty like, sure it was. There was a couple people. Oh, uh, what? Um, yeah. Niggas was fighting for tickets. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fucking part, fight, motherfuckers fighting over parking spots. That was hard. Nah, dude. yeah. Um, it was, I'm pretty sure it was. But um, damn, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> The Garden app was sold out? Yeah. I was saying something after that, but I completely <laughs> forgot. <laughs> nah, you're good. No, I no, completely you're forgot. Good. <laughs> so about the Garden app, shit was popping. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was going to say, uh, I don't know if it is, but I think I heard someone say it was like the one of the first, I don't know if it was the first, if that was like the first hip hop show there or like, really? in, I don't know if ever or like in such a long time or some shit. I'm sure. So I think that's what like attracted a lot yeah, of people, yeah, you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. And then being Jizza, you know, yeah, for real. somebody from the other side of the country, definitely, bro, out here in Orange County, and Garden yeah, Road. one of them limited times to actually Damn, see him, yeah, on this side, yeah, no yeah. doubt. I was trying to go, but I was like, fuck, fifty <laughs> bucks or a cup of noodles next week, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't want to, I didn't want no more cup of noodles. <laughs> <laughs> I was done, bro. Really. <laughs> hey, dog, how'd you? How'd you get in from the start of you making music to you doing your first show at Proof Bar, bro? Was what was your journey, dog? How'd you start even doing all this shit? Um, so the music came about. I've always been a hip hop head Word. Like, since I was a kid. Word. I've loved hip hop. You know. Uh, Real quick, we just interject. First album you jammed. Oh, get rich or die trying. Mm, all right, for sure. Yeah. 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 Main classic. motivation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's main motivation. Yeah, yeah. I'll be a little bro, younger, I'm but you know the classics. Like, like, many, yeah, many. <laughs> nah, I feel you. Talk, hell yeah. Many, yeah. many, 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 so, many, many. My, my uncle put me on that, and I started, I would bump it, and then he started putting me on to more, diff- you know, like different artists. Yeah. And then right around that time is like when YouTube was like barely cracking, you know, you could like, you could find shit on there, like music, whatever the fuck. And I just started doing my own, like searching. Word. I started just, you know, listening to different artists, look at the recommended, click on this one, click on that one. And I just went into like this deep rabbit hole of just hip hop. Word. So I've always liked that. And then I've always loved writing, whether True. it was like fictional stories, fucking poems, whatever, even music. Like, I used to write music. I used to never record it though. Mm. I used to write oh, okay. songs. Yeah. And, um, so I've always liked that idea of like putting my 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 thoughts to like pen to paper, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then when I got out of high no school, beat. bro, you would just be just be writing. Sometimes I throw a beat on. Okay. Yeah, I throw a beat on, write to it, mm-hmm. you know, do my own little raps and to myself only. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Putting that shit out. You know, that whole time was just practice. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. It ended up being yeah. Yeah, exactly. I think, man. I wish I remember my grandma had this laptop, bro. But like. I was probably like nine or ten, bro. My grandma had this laptop, and I downloaded uh, this recording program. Fuck, I forget what it's called. Damn. It's like an orange one. A lot that's of people bold. use it to download shit. I was about to say, a <laughs> laptop like, not yours. That's <laughs> bold. <laughs> Did you say once again? Sorry, I remember the computer uh-huh. in my house. I was gonna do nothing again? on it. Who was what? Like whose laptop? Was oh, it? it was my grandma's. Oh, uh, but you're <laughs> yeah. a real bold, yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. God yeah. damn. Yeah. And like she would like shit. I double check her. That shit right because. 
And I remember that that shit had like a, a thing to like put DVDs in it. So that's Word. why she had her laptop. Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah. um, she would like, she would do a lot of C uh CVD uh DVD stuff of like slideshows of like right. pictures from like family parties. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. When we oh, were okay. younger and shit like that. So she would watch them on there. She would listen to music on there, and um, she had this little USB that she had for music too. I remember one time I just fucking I went on and I downloaded a recording program Audacity that's what it was called True. I downloaded Hold Audacity down. <clears throat> and I would play the beat I, like I would go to YouTube play the instrumental and I would record I would like download it go to like the YouTube MP3 thing to download put it on the program and I would use a laptop microphone to record that's so like fire. it sounded so shitty yeah. but like just that was just your yeah, own voice yeah. like yeah I was just, yeah it's but my that own was, music right here yeah that was just me experimenting you know what age G what age was this bro? I was like 10 bro damn yeah I was damn. like 10 hold it down yeah. I was so like how old initially were you when you started like writing and shit like that writing yeah, yeah I want to say like 8 damn, and God, damn. not music though yeah like, yeah, just, yeah just yeah. other shit and then like when I was like 10 10 yeah 10 11 i started writing like music stuff okay, okay. Yeah. yeah so yeah you've been doing it for a cool minute then. yeah and just but i that was the first time i ever like recorded anything but it was like some bullshit you know like, right, I, was just, yeah, like, yeah. I was just you know yeah, just around, like, around, like, yeah i just thought it was just fun. honestly at that time i like i could see you just be like damn this is even possible yeah like, I oh, fucking just, really, like even, they yeah. don't even know what i'm doing in here this, 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 yeah you know what I mean? I'm making like magic low key, you know? like, I'm just thinking. <laughs> just, like, just downloading shit. Real that's, that's, shit, I'm bro. I'm surprised by this Real <laughs> shit. Nah, yeah. that's fun, and I, I feel like, man, I wish. I feel like she might still have it because my grandma low key a whore. Hey, whoever has that Doughboy Tony <laughs> laptop. Like, grandma, we need that. That's like, all kind of shit. Yo, if, if, she, if it's sold or something, if she don't got it, we need that laptop. And he can fix that audio. I wouldn't yeah. even doubt if she had it, though. And he can fix yeah. that audio. In, in the archives, you feel me? Yeah, because she hoards a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's she, probably, you know, Mexican still, grandma, she yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, everything, yeah. bro. She probably still got that. She, she probably she still probably got, got it the somewhere. flowers on top of it. <laughs> yeah, she now. got it somewhere. I know she do. <laughs> she'll know exactly where it's at. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that one. <laughs> she was like, "Oh, it's on this shelf under that drawer." Yeah, like. Sick, bro. <laughs> yeah. So and then, uh, that was that. And then, like through high school, I just kept writing. Mm-hmm. I just like writing. I always kept writing. And then after high school, bro, I went to a, a, a community college for like a year. And I was just kind of in like this place where like I didn't know what I was gonna do. Where you know I I fucked with psychology stuff because mm-hmm. I've always been into like, you know, the human mind. And just being able to like understand d- people differently, Word. and you know, just knowing that you can say certain words that like make a person feel a certain way. Like you know, there's a lot of that goes mm-hmm. into like. I'm, li- I'm literally doing that. I was shit gonna say right it's like yours. Like, okay. Yeah, that's my major, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing. Yeah. Literally everything you explain is the same, the same way I am. He's bro. the psycho. Yeah. yeah, like I'm just. Yeah, dog. I find that I find it fascinating to be honest, bro. Mm-hmm. Like the mind is crazy. It's the most. I feel like it's the most powerful tool you know that we have mm-hmm. so i was into that for a minute but like i just wasn't really feeling it bro like, i really wasn't you know i was doing that i was working with my pops but i was like no there's got to be something and one day bro i'm at work with my uncle we at a job site <laughs> and he pulls up this fucking facebook video and he's like bro this looks like your homie eddie and he was like a childhood friend so my Word. dad and his dad were you know they grew up in the same neighborhood so I, but I wouldn't see Eddie all the time because his parents split up, so he would go with his mom a lot. Word. So he would only come here and there. Yeah, and then yeah. when we turned like 12, bro, like I hadn't seen him for years. I want to say until, I want to say six years later until I was 18. And yeah, he's showing me the video, bro. And I'm like, what the fuck? That is Eddie. Like, don't look like him. Like, that's him. I know that's mm-hmm. him. And it was a music video, bro. And I was like, well, like, this was doing music. And I've always loved music. Yeah. So I'm sitting there and I'm tripping on it. And I, I finally just hit him up. I was like, hey, bro, is, you think I can come through? And, like, whenever you're going to record, like, let me just come through and, like, just check you out. Like, I just, because at that time, I'm like, I'm just a music fan. Yeah, you're so, just like, interested, yeah, yeah. bro. Yeah. Like, I just want to yeah. I just wanna be in the studio. I want to yeah. see what it's like. You know, I'm not, I didn't go with the mentality, like, man, like, I'm going to. Get me on. Yeah. Right yeah. So, sure, so I, I go and um, he's doing his thing. <clears throat> and like maybe like an hour hour and a half later bro I'm already on the mic I had written what some shit fuck? to Damn. fucking I had written First some shit to first time going just to be 
Like, just there as a fan and shit. Like, nah, fam. For real. We transitioning your job title, fam. You <laughs> fucking shit, you feel me? Bro, I'm yeah. on the yeah, next two dog. tracks right and now. And it, it was a remix to the Shook Ones part You knew you two. was going to get on when you went there, huh? Honestly, I didn't go with that. I didn't go with that mentality. I didn't. Yeah, yeah. But in the back of your mind, though, yeah. was that they're kind of like, I yeah, don't know if I'm In the back though, of my mind, like, it was yeah. there, like, okay. And in then once I asked, I can't be trash. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like, yeah, hey, this shit, like, you know. And then, like, some fucking notes and shit ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then once I was in there, that's when I was like, okay, like, I want to get on this fucking mic. Word. And sure enough, it you happened. You said shook ones? Yeah. Yeah, see, that's already motivation. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did something to that. Now I look back, I listen back, and I'm like, oh, man, that was, it was whatever, you mm. know. I, it, it was, was a start for him. Yeah, but it was a start, exactly. It helped me, you know, it helped me gain confidence to be on, even on a mic. Mm. Shouts and, to Eddie, bro. Yeah, shout out my boy Eddie for sure. For real, for real. Shouts, shouts to Eddie. Yeah. Hey, yeah, even you hitting Eddie. him up, bro, honestly, that kind of like transition, because I can imagine you being in that limbo period, and you're like, that's a random hit up. Somebody I ain't seen in years. Yeah. For real. Turns out it's fucking up. just what you're doing now. How we even yeah. came yeah, across you. You feel me? Yeah. And I Eddie even felt. In, indirectly linked us, bro. You feel me? Like, <laughs> yeah. shit. I even felt like weird about it at first. Uh-huh. It's like, man, like I haven't talked to the homie in so long. Like he might be like, what the hell? Like, you know, just so random or so weird. But now, nah, but he was like super about it. You know, he just welcomed Damn. me in. He was like, yeah, come through. That's fine. And then dog. it went from that session to like almost the whole summer me at his pad bro damn and i this is when i was doing shit on soundcloud and i was dropping like a song a week almost damn <laughs> so your boy's been working then like, yeah boy's just been consistent with music and yeah i want to say yeah like i was doing at first it was like i dropped a song two weeks later i dropped another one two weeks later i was dropping another one then at one point it became like a week weekly thing and then after that um, I had some people <clears throat> talk to me. Um, Farron Kid from Black OC being one of them. And like they really just told me like how they see the all the potential and they see how dope I am, but like I really gotta sit there and like it like just expand the craft, you know, like just sit there and work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like put more focus into one song and make sure it's you know, it's how you want it. And yeah, that's now since then it's like I don't rush my shit, you know. Um, I don't. Sometimes I don't even like to. When I'm in the studios, I'd rather be. I'd rather have it be a beat making session, Word. and I go home and I will work on my lyrics myself because I want it to be, you know, the best mm-hmm. that it can be. Damn, Damn that's, that's an interesting crazy. process, bro. Yeah, hella, hella. It works out though. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that's how I got into the music, man. That's what it was. For that's me. fire. Damn, bro. So <laughs> even from that SoundCloud era, bro, just even get into heavily. Because I like I know you personally just through heavily visuals. Yeah. How'd you even make that transition, my dog? Like, um, I think it was just you know realizing how you got to market shit. Word. You know, um, I think like I realized like I really got to put content out, and we're in an era where I can't say it doesn't matter, but for a lot of folks, bars don't matter. You know? Yeah. Like, you can have the dopest bars. Mm-hmm. You can have the dopest stilo on the mic. But they're not going to care. Right. Like, oh, like, where your video's at? Where your followers at? Mm-hmm. Where's your engagement at? True. Where, you know, where's your flashy clothes at? All that bullshit. And it's like, you kind of got to put it into perspective. You know, not... You don't got to, like, just abandon the roots. Mm-hmm. You know, stay fucking planted to the hip-hop. But you got to somehow, some way connect them. So I was like, okay... And if you see my videos too, like, I think I got like one video, bro, where I got bitches in there like shaking ass and shit. Mm-hmm. Right. Other than that, like, it's, it's not just the premise some, of what you do. And yeah. Shit, yeah. Other than that, it's just like I keep I like to like have them look grimy, a little bit darker, just hip hop shit to me, you know. And it's been working, and I've noticed a lot. I's like just doing videos. I notice a lot the storytelling ones do really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's just how I got into that. And it was just talking, you know, with, with people again, you know, talking to certain people. And they would tell me, they would just game me up. Like, do you got to do content, 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 content. So, like, okay, let's create a cracking with videos and this and that, pushing videos out. That's what that was. I feel you, dog. Yeah. Damn, bro. Yeah, I say you, you, you create classic content. And I say classic because classic never goes out of style. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, I see why you're big. <laughs> See why you're blowing up. Like I said, it's a it's a it's a true classic, bro. 
yeah, classic, yeah. classic of the OC, you know? Yeah, I got to try, you know, like I try to do timeless music. Right. You know? Unfortunately, a lot of issues I speak on, they're not going anywhere anytime soon. You know, yeah, like we yeah. see progress. It's getting better. But this shit has been here and it's here to stay for, I don't know, maybe even after we're gone. Yeah, pass our like, life. Like that shit might still be happening. For real. You know, and that's the way I look at it. Like this is going to help people in the future. Like they might listen to this shit and it might spark a flame in them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know? So that's how to I see it. understand it's been, no, for it's, real. it's been happening since my time. Yeah. Time shit. Exactly. Wow. And like, not even just like the social issues, mm -hmm. you know, like fucking community issues, you know, not just politically, but like things that go on in our neighborhoods that are wrong, I guess you could say, mm -hmm. yeah. or things that need to get, you know, they need to shine a light on it more. And it might be keep going on. So people are going to relate to it no matter what. And it's you. like, I speak on it from Orange County, but people in LA, San Francisco, Everybody, you know, they all going through the same shit. So that's the way I make music. Damn, yeah, bro. so everybody it's can calculated. feel that emotion and feel what yeah. you're going through because, like you just said, everybody goes through the same shit. No matter yeah. what county you're from, you know, it's pretty much all the same. No doubt. No matter what county. Hell yeah. But this is Juice County. No, I was thinking of Juice County. Exactly where from, like, Juice, like, the Juice are you from? Like, I mean, I know, like, I know, we know, like, Santa Ana, right? Yeah. So I was born in, in Santa Ana. Um, you know, the areas that we that I grew up in, it was a little crazy. Up until like six, five, my pops decided to get me up out of there. But I played sports. Just, I played for the Club America soccer team of Santa oh, Ana. Um, I played basketball in the Basketball League of Jerome Park. Oh, like good. I just grew up there, you know. My family was there. Yeah. All my family, my fucking godparents my dad's homies like everything was there but yeah other than that i've lived in garden grove lived in anaheim for a bit then just moved back to garden grove okay okay yeah okay. so you just played the soccer and basketball that was it yeah soccer okay, and basketball okay. i don't know why but i had you pegged for like a football guy i'm not gonna front <laughs> yeah because i'm a bigger guy I yeah, know. yeah, yeah like... uh nah bro actually when i was younger i wasn't like a chubby kid bro right um so that's why i loved soccer i, I played right. soccer i can't say i loved it but i liked it a lot you know i enjoyed it until like so my, my dad was really good bro he could have he got offers from like the national team and this and that but he couldn't do any of it because of his legal status right. like, yeah so i feel like he kind of like tried to like I was his project, but yeah, try to like live that yeah. out through through he lived you. He to try to live it out to me, so it was harder. It was harder to for me to like actually like enjoy and love it. Yeah, when it became a you. job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You yeah. Hear me? No, that's how that's how I was yeah. with my dad too. At some point, yeah. I was kind of like, all right, bro, it's not fun anymore. Yeah, yeah, like I liked it growing yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, what's not a like? You know, yeah. it's a sport. Fucking, you build a camaraderie with your team. You yeah. kick it with these people. You get practice. You guys bullshit kick it. Even outside of games, whatever, you know? Exactly. But when it becomes like a job, it's, you know, it's yeah, a little exactly. more like, bro, like. That's how I felt okay, like after I got 10, like, 17, I was just like, all right, bro, I shouldn't be worried. Yeah. Like, like I shouldn't be worried about it like the way <laughs> I am right now. Like, For me, it was when I was 12, 11. Right my parents, like, they split up. They went through some shit. And, like, I just piggy banked off that, bro. I was like, fuck this. And I, I, did, I went through, like, some depression and shit. And that's when, like, I got really big. That's that was like my next like. I feel like I call it like another chapter because it like really did change who I was. Yeah, yeah, most yeah. you know, yeah. Like I was into bullshit, you know. Right. Like it, it was just it, it created a different me. It really did create a different me. Um, not in terms of like who I was, like you know, as a person morally and shit like that, but like it did, did made me do other things and shit right. like that. Yeah. And that's when I stopped playing uh, soccer. But then I think that's around the same time I did basketball. Okay, okay. Yeah. You played basketball so I went back to school? basketball. No, no, no. That was that was my eighth grade year. So right. I just, the Jerome Park League, I think it's up to eighth grade. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was like the last year for me to play. And I played that year. Mm. No sports at high school and I shit? Could, I no. think the fucking Bonaparte League is the same thing. 
Yeah, yeah, I about to say mostly they're like they're like up until like you. Yeah, it's youth. Yeah, It'd be like you, you six. Like yeah, and they watch it on travel ball and shit. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I. Oh yeah, if you do like travel ball. Yeah, that motherfucking shit expensive. Yeah, like though. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I got lucky yeah. as fuck. Now I got lucky. Get out of here, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. Shit. yeah any yeah, type yeah. of sp- any sport where it's like, you know, like in soccer, there's like academies. Oh, yeah. So- like I feel that. like soccer is way more intense than baseball, but that's just my opinion. It is, it's but fighting. there's like, there is a lot of outlets. Like, there's indoor, there's like. Yeah, that's there's what I was going to say. You guys have like hella. Sunday leagues, you know? Yeah. And basketball is like, yo, they trying to keep this shit like. Hella treaty like a club, you know? Yeah. Hella travel ball. Even at the fucking yeah. public parks. Yeah, bro. Like, bro you're, like, you're not rolling on the court tonight. Like, yeah, what are you trying to like, <laughs> like, 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 jersey bro. on. Nah, nah, nah. We run <laughs> five full court. Hella <laughs> gatekeep, bro. That shit. Bro, that reminds gatekeep. me of fucking Central, bro. They fucking really be running. Like, you don't have a team with you. you Fuck Central. Not. Yeah, bro. Like, no, and we and don't all care. you fuckers out there. One of us is not fucking up our team. I hate it going to Every time with the Central Road, was a fight. Like, so many. Pulling on my shirt and trying to foul. <laughs> now, see, that's why I went to Brenner. Yeah. <laughs> be like I'm motherfuckers at Brenner knew better. <laughs> they knew if you was pulling on <laughs> shit, you're getting socked, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, not pull on me or push me unless you plan on fucking ducking and shit. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. dog, you. Oh, dang. So, where did you go to high school, actually? Like, just curiosity. I went to El Medina. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so what happened there is I was already living in Garner Grove and my mom was. was going to work over there so she would just you know she was it, she decided like okay she'll drop me off yeah yeah, and yeah. Then fucking, type shit, like, yeah. Okay, okay yeah yeah, that works. yeah that's how that happened God damn, so you really was cool. juiced up then <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's a couple different cities oh, with right, it yeah. Right. yeah yeah it was cool i never lived in orange but i went to high school there mm-hmm. it was cool though it was a cool experience out there you know it was uh it's pretty diverse i feel like i feel you because like Right outside the high school, there's like two hoods. Mm-hmm. But then if you go like on the other side of the street, it's like really nice homes, really nice pads. <laughs> so you got some like kids from over there, and then you got kids from over here. So it was just it was cool. It was different. It was a you. cool mix. Yeah. See what all happened and shit. Hood kids and rich kids. It's a yeah. bad combo. <laughs> it's a bad shit. combo. It was crazy. I don't want to call it a bad combo. So Kennedy kind of was. That's what I was about to say. Yeah. I was like, Kennedy had, had some of it, but. What I'm saying, I felt like, we were the hood kids and there were some rich kids we were kicking it with. Yeah. I don't know. I felt, I that was just always a lot of weed. Yeah. It's always a lot of weed. Yeah, There's always like a lot of weed. Shit. Always a lot of weed. Rich kids love to buy weed, man. They don't, they don't <laughs> care. They don't care about spending their parents' money. That's why I say it's a bad combo because the hood nigga just pull up like, what's up, bro? Yeah, <laughs> what are we doing true. today? You know? Yeah. <laughs> But nah, it's cool. Uh-uh. I'll say it's cool until you get caught up, but I'm gonna just shut up on that. <laughs> Frank, first oh, time, Frankie, Frankie, dog. Frank, yeah. I was like, I was like, it's real cool, bro. Yeah. Like, you can sell a lot of shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, you really put them on blast. He <laughs> <laughs> said it's real cool, but all of it. Nah, bro, it's cool when you show them. Oh, no, this fool no, no, no. reminisced that old shit and got sad again. I was about to say, <laughs> I, I, know. Was like, I was like, I remember selling ibuprofen oh. saying they were Vikings. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh hey. my god! I should have said that. <laughs> bro, this bro just drinks two beers, uh, and all of a sudden yeah. the truth comes out. <laughs> I'm all like, I'm like, the Vikings, fucking like, it's like, like six hundreds and shit. I know, bro. Thinking we're fucking some pill poppers. <laughs> you make a red bull. It's just like ibuprofen color. Call it. This shit not bro, even. I took like ten of them. Shit, not today. even white or nothing. It's an <laughs> orange pill. Nah, nah, like, no, 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 I'm not gonna give you all free game. Never mind. <laughs> anyway, so I was like, bro, we're and adults he was now. Scraping the bitch? No, no, no. no. <laughs> no, 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 no I was not spending. Who's pulling out the foil? Like, yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> uh, that's horrible. That's Damn, horrible. dog. Hey, uh, briefly before we get into your freestyle, dog, I wanted to ask about those fucking, you know, your EP and your album that you dropped, bro. You said you dropped them both on the same day. Just even, yeah, a little background on that, dog, because I know you went from the writing, doing all that. You feel me? And just to even drop two tapes, you feel me? Yeah. Or an um, EP and an album. I don't want to just call it a tape. It's it's fucking bigger than a tape, you feel me? Yeah. <laughs> so the first album, uh, it's called Bigger Picture. Okay. And uh, I feel like the concept of that was more like uh, just talking about, like I was establishing myself as like the type of artist I, I'm going to be. True. Who I am, you know, which is like just speaking my truth and just talking about you know, speaking on certain 
social issues. Like, I had Cultura on that album. Yeah. So, you know, I just feel like my idea of it was, like, to let people know there's a bigger picture to this shit. Like, you're not just, I'm not just doing it for the fame or for all the things that come with it, you know? Mm-hmm. All the prizes or rewards, you could call them. Like, it's a bigger picture than that. You know, you're really trying to spread a message. Yeah. Yeah. And the process of that album was cool. Um, It's all produced by the homie Darren Vegas. He was signed to Death Row. He did some, he did a lot of shit with the Dog Pound, Crooked Eye. Word. He did some, um, so after Tupac passed, they still had still like some vocals of his and he mm-hmm. like produced for those and shit. Uh, so yeah, it's, you know, he uh, did shit with Bone Thugs. Damn. Shout yeah. Out to Vegas. Hell yeah. That's yeah. crazy, like, just because that shit, it's like, I grew yeah, up on that bro. shit. Like, yeah, same here. You know, I was in there, like, what the with fuck? Goats. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He'll play a song. He's like, oh, yeah, I produce this. And I'm like, what the? Yeah, you no, produce this? Like, I just bumped that. Uh, I was yeah, just bumping that shit. Yeah. <laughs> nah, yeah, that was cool, though. You know, it was cool to work with him because, you know, he's a vet. He's yeah, a vet, bro. so, and I'm, I'm a younger cat, but he was still able to adapt to what I wanted, the sound I wanted, you know, right, even right. though... That album, if you listen to it, like I kept it pretty old school. Like, yeah, like not super like boom bap old school shit, but like you could hear the elements, you Rare. know. <clears throat> yeah, and it was a fun process, bro, because you know he's been in the industry for years. You know he's gotten fucked over, and he's he knows uh, what's good, what's not. So it's just kind of like we're making it's music. Free game, yeah, man. we're making music, and I'm just soaking up all this game. So that's how it was with him. For that album, and then uh, I kept working with him throughout after after that, dropping singles with him. And then finally came a point where I was like, I want to drop the EP. So I dropped the EP called Perspectives. And I called it Perspectives because, like, I I speak on different perspectives for, like, five different... The, like, it's, every song is a different... It's about somebody, Word. you know? And it's a different... Like uh, it's a fire theme. Yeah, every song is continued and shit. Yeah, yeah, every song is about somebody, and every everything is like uh, how do you say it? Like the the meaning of the song. Mm-hmm. They're all like issues that we experience, you know, in, in growing up in neighborhoods that we grow up in. So like mine, the one that's about like me. Obviously, I had to do one about me. Um, it's about just kind of growing up in the mix and just kind of like. One foot in, one foot out. Like you really don't know what. Like you, you, you're smart enough to know it's not cool and it's not right, but you're still just really curious about it, you know. But at the end of the day, you're able to acknowledge what you should do, and the path you should take. Then another one is called Fighting Demons, and that was about one of my uncles. So my uncle, he's the one that put me on hip hop. He's only eight years older than me, you know. So I, I always looked at him as like a big brother. Mm. So. That one's more so like, you know, uh, just wanting to do bad shit, you know, just fucking going down the wrong path. And it's like, still kind of like, you really not fully like out of it. You get me? Yeah. Like you still, you still kind of on the bullshit, but not completely. Mm -hmm. Like you just don't have it all the way together. You're still fighting your demons pretty much. You know, and I think like, there's a lot of those people in the places that we grew up in. And then another one is about my mom, and it's about teen pregnancy. You know, my mom had me when she was 16. So, like, that's a real issue going on a lot, you know, babies having babies. And then um, another one is about my pops, and that one's about my pops came here when he was 10. So it's about, like, you know, just the complete change in country for the most part, and then landing in the place that he landed in, you know, straight gutter, and just growing up in that that environment, but at the end of the day, he kind of, like, he was able to, like, you know, do something better with himself, even though, like, all the odds are against you, you get me? Yeah, yeah. That's what that one's about. <clears throat> and then the last one's about love, bro, like, the power of love, and it's about one of my other uncles who, uh, you know, he went through, like, a deep, deep depression after him and his his wife at the time had split up, uh, and, like, just the power of it, you know, it leads you to do stupid shit pretty much and how crazy it can control you yeah, so that's what that's called perspectives and it's like literally every song is about <clears throat> a family member and the reason i'm able to speak on it 
It's because I lived it with them. You hear me? Like I, right. I grew up seeing it. Like I firsthand experienced like what bro was going through. So that's why I put that EP together. Damn, dog. That's shit real heavy, shit, bro. Yeah. Some real shit, bro. Hell Dope. Yeah. That's heavy, bro. Some respect on that shit for real. Cause you're just bringing your perspective to light. You know yeah, what I mean? no doubt. And it's like to this day, I get messages. You know, somebody will hear the team pregnancy one and be like, "Damn, that's crazy!" Or the fighting demon song. Be like, yeah. bro, it's like you're talking about me, and it's like that's what I want. You get me? Yeah. Oh, this I literally say that. I was like, bro, that sounds mm-hmm. like literally some shit me and Jose grew up kind of like. Yeah. So yeah, it's kind of crazy, bro, that you can <clears throat> put that onto like. Yeah. Like it's music and shit, and like. Yeah, man. I mean, because like we listen to like music we can relate to. Yeah. So the shit that we bump like on a daily is just shit we we relate to. I mean, don't get me wrong, we have the other occasions, you know, you know, party shit, but it's like Oh yeah, of course. On the real, like I only listen to shit I've been through or I can relate to. And even with the artists, like if I listen to music and I can't relate to it or I can't feel it, I'm just like, nah man, I'm not gonna listen to that shit on my daily, you know? Yeah, same bro. That's how I feel. Whenever I hear something and I I'm like, damn, I felt that shit. I'm saying you wanna keep playing it. Keep playing For real? it. You just love that song. For real, like that that single you got coming out with YBG and Villami, bro. Oh yeah, I can't that talk about dope. it. They told me not to talk about it, but <laughs> I just know it's coming out soon, and I, y'all ain't ready for that shit. You're, you're gonna be there Sunday, right? Sunday, I actually might be in Vegas this weekend, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. turn okay. up, oh yeah, Hell yeah. Okay. Go off if you do, but <laughs> Sunday, I hope to see you on Sunday. That's yeah. me being selfish though. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's fire, dog. Yeah, yeah bro. Just Speaking about these shit, bars, bro. though, you ready to spit these bars? Yeah, let's do it, bro. Let's, let's do it, it, bro. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hello. Hey, you can walk to the booth. Walk over there and do it? Yeah. All right, man. Yeah, full effect on them. Juice <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> Exclusive. Juice Just go ahead and hit exclusive. it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Whenever you're ready, bro. <clears throat> A funky beat, you know I wreck it. I'm rapping for my section, Orange County. That's the place of my progression. No misdirection. I'm rhyming for your protection from the system and corrections that they often want us left in. Hey, yo, check it. I'm rhyming within the gender. Fuck the self-destruction. Let's talk about the corruption. Set us up for failure. Our justice being obstructed. Less of us is greater. They hating our reproduction. They gon' hate it, but I'ma keep on going. Knowledge amongst my peers, I'ma keep on showing. 40s for dead homies, I ain't trying to keep pouring. Trying to keep them alive, keep them growing and glowing. Uh, time for us to grow, united we stand. Trying to make our own dollars, not eat off of the hands of those who ain't trying to see us proceed. It's money, knowledge, and power what these communities need. Yeah. Woo. Dope boy, Tony. Juice yeah. Podcast. I hear the message, Brody. Orange County. I hear the message, doggy. We fucking out here, y'all. Damn, bro. God damn. This kid is nice. Bro, you do Isaac, this shit, huh? This shit is nice, shit regular, bro. Huh? Shit regular, Pulled bro. up. Acapella. My dog. Thank you, bro. Um, whole said a whole new standard. Whole new Juice standard. Juice podcast. Whole interview, bro. Streetwise. <laughs> Send me a package. <laughs> Not <out> Streetwise. <laughs> nah, really shit, bro. Rock you off for 10 years, bro. Send me a hat. Shut <laughs> <laughs> the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, but thank you, dope boy. Nah, I appreciate thank you, bro, bro, for coming on, giving Hell us yeah. your time, bro. I know you're no a busy doubt. man, always working, you know. So no thanks doubt. for coming on. This is Hoser with the Juice Podcast, 26th episode, six months, bro. Six, six months. goddamn months, huh? Salute to y'all, bro. Straight, bro. Nah, I'm not salute to y'all, bro. Y'all bro. held it down when I, bro, I was straight, out. Bro. I, was on, I was on the IR. Y'all held it down. Six bro. months straight. Another like six shut, months man. coming at you. Andy, thank you. Andy, Isaac, thank you for coming on board, bro. Yeah, friendships are real, man. Y'all make shit. this shit work. Y'all make this shit happen. We're active. Isaac, oh, you too, Isaac. <laughs> make this shit happen, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. It's Hoser, six month, twenty six episode, Juice Podcast. Thank you, Juice. Roger, we making it out. Thank you. Late juice. Roger, we making it out. Yo, I'm out here. With dope boy. Around the town, up in my way, up my shit. Niggas be making it sound.